Welcome to this press conference. First, we have <coughs> short statements, and then we have some time for questions and answers. President, please. Thank you. First of all, Secretary General Jens, I want to thank you. It's great to have you here, but it has been great during the whole springtime, having a very keen contact, uh, having all the necessary help and information from your side in the process uh, which, uh, in our uh, view, was historic. I just want to tell you that, uh, in a way, I feel that uh, it was a triumph of Finnish democracy. First, uh, people parties, politicians, and uh, at the end, uh, in keen cooperation, the parliament, uh, government, and I had the same opinion. And we have had a couple of uh, party congresses during this uh, weekend, and I see that uh, the sentiment is still very solid and uh, reflects that kind of uh, uh, solid democratic opinion. Uh, during the process, like I said, we have received all the necessary information. You have been very polite, you and your people. Thank you once again for that. So <clears throat> we had a possibility of discussing also the situation at the moment. Uh, we have been uh, surprised by the position of uh, Turkey, but uh, as in international politics, uh, it is uh, uh, all the reasons to take seriously what uh, your counterpart is uh, saying. And that's what we are going to do, take seriously what uh, Turkey puts uh, forward. We have a connection on that too, <clears throat> with, uh, with you and your people, and Ankara, uh, and uh, let's hope that at the end we find uh, uh, such a solution which uh, satisfies everybody. <clears throat> More serious is the warfare in Europe, in Ukraine. We discussed a lot about that. Uh, unfortunately, none of us saw a clear ending point at the moment for that uh, war, warfare. And uh, that is uh, surely a common problem for all Europeans, largely for, uh, it is also a global worry. Uh, to my mind, uh, resilience is uh, one of the issues which uh, comes to mind. Uh, uh, resilience of Ukrainian people. They have been tested utmostly here and uh, there are a lot of victims, a lot of casualties. Uh, they are fr fighting bravely and uh, it seems that they continue. We have been hoping that uh, resilience of Russia would uh, somehow be weakening. Unfortunately, very much of that is not at the moment in sight. And then there's a question of our resilience, we who want to help Ukrainians uh, and I would like just to remind that, uh, yes, while we have started, we will also continue. So, thank you once again, and please. President Ninesto, there is Saule, it's great to be back in Finland, great to see you again, and thank you so much for this warm uh, welcome. As a Nordic neighbor uh, and friend, I have visited your country many, many times. And I've always been uh, very impressed uh, by the way you have combined vision with pragmatism 
turning bold goals into reality. The decisions uh, by Finland and Sweden to apply for NATO membership are historic. You have long been our closest partners. You have strong democracies with capable militaries. And your membership in NATO will increase our shared security. Our forces have trained and exercised together for many years. Finnish soldiers contribute to NATO missions and operations from the Western Balkans to Iraq. And we have further enhanced our sharing of information at this critical time for our security. Finland and uh, Sweden's membership uh, in NATO would further strengthen the Nordic region of our alliance. And now, allies are considering the next steps on their path to NATO. We have to address the security concerns of all allies, including Turkish concerns about the terrorist group PKK. So I remain in close contact with you, Sauli, and um, your uh, colleagues uh, with Sweden and with our ally, Turkey, uh, on the way uh, ahead. My staff also uh, remain in close dialogue with officials from all three countries to address the legitimate Turkish concerns and to move forward on your accession to our alliance. So, President Ninesto, NATO and Finland share common values and common interests. The security of Finland and Sweden matters to NATO. Many allies have already made clear their commitment to your security. NATO remains vigilant and we have increased our presence in this region. As we speak, our exercise bolt tops is underway with over 7,000 forces from 14 NATO allies and Finland and Sweden, training side by side. Finnish and Swedish forces are also participating in NATO's integrated air and missile defense exercise across the Baltic region and Poland. These are powerful demonstrations of NATO's commitment to this region of strategic importance. So, dear Sauli, thank you for our discussions today. I look forward to welcoming you to the NATO summit in Madrid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's time for questions. First question goes to Finnish Broadcasting Corporation and Matti Koivisto. Yes, thank you. Matti Koivisto, Finnish Public Broadcasting Company. Uh, Turkey has been blocking accession talks with Finland and Sweden for almost a month now. Uh, has there been any progress in talks with Turkey? And uh, what's your assessment? Is there a possibility of solving this issue in Madrid? The summit in Madrid was never a deadline. Uh, at the same time, I would like to see this solved as soon as possible. And therefore, we are working hard uh, with our NATO uh, ally Turkey, uh, Turkey uh, and also with uh, Finland and Sweden to uh, address uh, those issues that uh, Turkey has uh, raised. And these are legitimate concerns. This is about terrorism, it's about uh, weapons exports. And we have to understand and remember that no other NATO ally has suffered more terrorist attacks than uh, uh, Turkey. Uh, and also that Turkey is an important um, ally uh, with a strategic uh, geographic location, uh, being a Black Sea nation, but also bordering Iraq and Syria. And Turkey has played a key role in our uh, fight against uh, terrorist groups like ISIS uh, Daesh. And also to take into account that no other NATO ally hosts more refugees than Turkey. And that uh, uh, Turkey is uh, playing a key role in providing support to Ukraine. And now also playing a key role in uh, the efforts to find a solution on how to export uh, grain from uh, Ukraine. So um, uh, when uh, a vital key 
ally as Turkey raises concerns on terrorism, then of course we have to sit down and take them seriously. And that's exactly what we do. And I therefore also welcome the clear message from uh, uh, Finland uh, and from President uh, Saudi Ninesto and Sweden that actually they are ready to sit down uh, to address those issues and then uh, to find uh, a way forward. It is the right decision for Finland and Sweden to apply for membership. That will strengthen their security, it will strengthen NATO, and it will strengthen uh, security and stability throughout the Euro-Atlantic uh, area. Okay, next question on the left side. Philip Teir, Dagens Nyheter. Jo, jag har en fråga här. Uh, I en situation om där Sveriges ansökningsprocess av någon orsak drar ut på tiden, till exempel i förhandlingar med Turkiet eller bara av inrikespolitiska orsaker, kan man tänka sig en, ett läge där Finland går vidare i en ansökningsprocess utan Sverige? Eh, då jag har eh, besök till Sverige, jag sa det mycket klart eh, då man har sagt att eh, Finlands sak är vår historiskt. Så jag säger att uh, Sveriges sak är också vår. Det betyder det att vi går vidare hand i hand. Matti Posio, Lännen Media. Matti Posio, Lännen Media Newspapers, Finland. Thank you for the opportunity and thanks for being in Finland. Uh, what about the predictions that we heard uh, before Finland applied for the membership. Uh, many uh, nations, and including yourself, you said that we would have possibilities for a very uh, speedy uh, entrance. Uh, some people even spoke about in a heartbeat, uh, <laughs> uh, in a blink of an eye, uh, and we never, it never crossed our minds that we could be accused of being a terrorism-supporting nation. It's very far from us Finns, as you know. So were we being too optimistic about entering NATO? Thank you very much. Well, I, I think um, we still have uh, the ambition of uh, making this uh, a decision uh, that uh, doesn't drag out too long and to solve these issues as soon as, uh, as possible. Um, uh, second, as uh, President Ninesto has also publicly said, uh, said, and he can elaborate on that in a moment, is that we had uh, reasons to believe that actually this was going to um, be supported uh, by all allies. Uh, then Turkey has raised uh, some concerns, and then we sit down and we are working on them uh, as we speak. Uh, we have uh, frequent and regular contacts uh, uh, with uh, Turkey, with, uh, with uh, uh, Finland and Sweden, uh, to look into the issues that... Uh, Turkey has uh, has uh, raised, uh, so um, so uh, that's the way we we do this, and uh, and uh, and I think still we have to remember that 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 what we face is a more dangerous world. We face a Europe where we have seen Russia invading a neighbor, uh, using brutal military force uh, to gain territory, to uh, to to re-establish a world order with spheres of influence. And that triggered the Finnish decision, and then NATO, of course, is ready. Uh, and uh, all allies, also Turkey, has expressed again and again that NATO's open door um, is a great success, uh, and NATO's door remains open, and uh, NATO's open door policy over decades has helped to uh, spread democracy, ensure peace and stability, uh, and therefore uh, Turkey, Finland and Sweden, NATO, are working hard on how to ensure uh, the membership of Finland and Sweden as soon as possible. Like I have uh, <coughs> said, uh, it was uh, a bit amazing to hear uh, President Erdogan's uh, opinion that was uh, 13th uh, April, because uh, months earlier, uh, in very many occasions, we had the positive response from, uh, from Turkey. Uh, directly to me and uh, to uh, our foreign minister several times, and I guess to NATO too. Uh, surely, 13th uh, May, uh, we made, uh, or our parliament made, made, it, made its decision a couple of days later, so during that moment, 
the Turkey's opinion was well known. And uh, like I said, uh, even now later on, we have had party congresses during this weekend. Uh, at least I haven't uh, noticed that uh, uh, this uh, event, uh, so difficult it might be, uh, has, uh, hasn't changed anything. So we go further. And like, uh, like you, Jens said, uh, surely we wish that this would be solved as soon as possible. But uh, we keep on going. And uh, following question, uh, Sunny Sharma, TV2 News, and in English, please. Sunny Sharma, TV2 News, Norway. In, if, is there any progress uh, on the negotiations, negotiations with Turkey? And in so forth, which areas are there any progress in? Uh, so if there are problems. Progress. 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 Oh. Uh, the progress uh, is... Uh, Maybe just the fact that uh, we have open lines, we continue discussions, uh, we have uh, had a lot of help from, uh, from uh, after both uh, Turkey and us had the same opinion that uh, the NATO uh, secretary will uh, try to give its uh, help. So that is on its way. There will be meetings. Uh, there will be discussions, uh, and uh, it's important what we have from Finland uh, done, that is to give as much information of our <coughs> current uh, position. We have a new legislation, and uh, actually I want to underline that uh, I don't see any major differences in the way Finland uh, uh, deals with this uh, Tur Turkish uh, uh, terrorism issue if you compare it to other NATO, existing NATO countries. So that makes surely us a bit difficult to understand that we are pointed out. But, uh, well, if we are pointed out, we will point out uh, that it is uh, uh, well, not uh, actually updated. Okay, allocated time. We still have. Do you have final remarks, or shall we end? Okay. Uh, yes, we will continue discussions. Uh, actually, I'm very eager to hear what Jens has to say today, and we will continue also tomorrow. Uh, this is a, a very important uh, moment uh, in uh, Finnish, not only Finnish, maybe a bit Nordic hi history here too. And uh, that makes uh, our days here even more interesting than usually. And uh, once again, thank you and uh, waiting <laughs> for your comments. Once again, thank you so much for inviting me here. I'm really honored by being uh, here at Kultaranta, and uh, I'm looking forward to the discussions later on uh, today. And let me once again uh, commend you, uh, Sauli, uh, President Nindesto, for your leadership, for your vision, for the courage of the uh, Finnish people uh, to make the historic decision to apply for membership. Uh, this is, as you said, a triumph for Finland, for uh, the Finnish democracy, the way you were able to uh, make the decision uh, to have this strong support uh, and also uh, have the support not only for the public, from the public opinion, from the people of Finland, but also from the parties and from parliament. So uh, uh, I think that uh, demonstrates that uh, Finland is an, a country which has the courage to make its own independent decisions. And uh, we should never, never allow intimidation, violence uh, to decide uh, which path countries can choose, but uh, that should be a result of democratic processes, exactly as we have seen in Finland. And then it's our responsibility, together with you, to ensure that the accession process, uh, that your accession into NATO can happen as quickly as possible. And the only way of doing that is to address the concerns raised by uh, one ally, and that's exactly what we're doing now. 
Thank, Thank you. you. This concludes this press conference.